Hello and welcome. This is the Nissan Primera P10 of the year 1995 with the 1.6 liters engine and the 102 PSs as engine power. The actual car represents the epitome of uh, the Primera P10 production since it is the facelift version and for a closer look into the interior of this 27 years old vehicle as is following This is the actual driver's seat on the front left. You can see that the headrest is quite comfortable and quite wide in contrast to many modern cars with greater value and uh, bigger uh, accommodations with bigger um, amenities. Uh, the driver series is very anatomical. You can see that it perceives to the left and to the right the angle raising of the left and the right side to cover the body, uh, the main below body, the back and the legs. The seat on the back is very comfortable with the right declining line to serve the declining of the back. We can see here that we have the modification rounds um, that adjust the seat to the height, the seat uh, according to uh, um, back and forward the back seat and uh, we have a third adjustment which is the third formation of the back seat going forward and backwards and this is the adjustment on the declining of the height of the seat this is the actual up and down of all of the seat uh, we can see sitting on the driver's seat that it has a very good application adjustment to the steering wheel which is very very uh, anatomical with uh, the actual stitches of the leather that the thumb and the front side of the finger so the other fingers can touch can grab can hook on the steering wheel we always cut the steering wheel at minus five and plus five according to the clock formation uh, the gearbox is in a very good distance from the right side of the driver and mainly it is a very very uh, ergonomical functional and operational devices automobile according to the interior at least if we will go now to the co-driver seat as we're going to realize it has an application of one rod to adjust the back of the seat frontward and backwards and we can see that uh, the co-driver uh, has a very good space towards the dust uh, he has access to an opening jaw uh, vertically which is very spacious he can adjust some, let's say, uh, boxes, probably with coffee or uh, anything liquid carried by glass or papers or whatever into this formation of the dust as an inner uh, receivable um, surface. Uh, he has the actual formation of uh, the airflow uh, tubes and he can help the driver uh, with an overall, let's say, at least 
160-170 degrees uh, view of the front side of the car. Uh, for the co-driver as well as for the driver, the actual door has an actual receiving um, deposit space with a little differential here for small items, for big items, for papers, dossiers, and so on. Uh, this is the lock of the door. It opens and closes electromagnetically. And now to place ourselves into the rear seats, going to the right back side, we can see that um, the the, the the rear passenger seat, uh, they are meeting in front of them to the co-driver seat and to, to the driver's seat an actual uh, envelope in helmet, depository space, again for uh, paper material or whatsoever. Uh, there is a little space for the rear driver's uh, smoking. Um, the dust from the smoke to be inhaled here. Uh, I would say that uh, the rear uh, passenger um, um, space is not so big because I am 5 foot 9, meaning 1 meter and 94 centimeters. And I'm facing a little problem with uh, my front uh, seat uh, space, even though the front driver it can row the driver's seat and the co-driver's seat ahead through a rolling um, leverage below the seat. Uh, a very good amenity of the car, as you can see, is the headrest, is the handrest, the handrest that uh, folds from the middle of uh, the rear seats. It's perfectly adjusting to your left hand if you're sitting rightwards and the opposite if you're sitting uh, leftwards. Um, it is a vehicle of uh, high security uh, procurement because since uh, I think the 1990, the 1990 model, the first version of the model, uh, 32 years ago it was uh, receiving uh, rear seats um, uh, safety belts that can adjust perfectly uh, here at uh, the accepting surface, not for them to be deployed and, and bother the seating of uh, the back of uh, the rear driver, the rear passengers. Uh, we have mainly two main um, belts, seat belts, for the left and the right co-drivers, uh, co-passengers at the rear, and we have one main uh, belt for the actual baby seat or the baby sitting at the, at the center. You can see that at the interior, at the back, the headrests of the passengers are very, very anatomical and very, very comfortable. It's an actual afro legs. It is an actual afro legs, the interior of um, the seats. But even after 27 years, it's still fresh and it's still, let's say, uh, complaceable to um, uh, fluctuation according to the body's position for it to penetrate um, the walls of the seats and the headrest. Below we can see the very big to the left side of the car rear and to the right side of the car rear uh, the speakers, uh, the sound speakers that are very big. I can assure you that uh, the stereo function is perfect in the car. It's like a harmony of uh, an opera. And here at the center we have the rear brake that was uh, applied afterwards of the of uh, the bay of the car uh, for extra security for the rear drivers to uh, attend the brakings of the car which will be on the front and we can have a very very um, we can have a very very let's say spectacular and uh, spicy view of the rear uh, diffuser the rear uh, aerodynamic spoiler which complements the car into a real uh, sports car, even though it is a family salon car. Here are the drivers, uh, at the co-passengers, at the rear seats. On the door panels we can see that we have infuser uh, depository spaces 
for some leaks, for, 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 for some small items probably, for coins, for a wallet, even for a camera phone, if it's small, etc. And of course it also applies to the right door at the back. We have the windows that are electrical. The rear passengers can adjust electromagnetically the height of the window, which is not folding to a great uh, zero uh, position. It is still hanging at about uh, one third of the whole surface of the window for security for the real children uh, passengers, not for them to drop off from the door, from the window. And uh, I can already remember from uh, the leaflet of the Primera, um, the book commercial, um, the book commercial um, leaflet that uh, the interior is really uh, modern and very very applicating to uh, comf comfort and uh, satisfaction for the driver's uh, needs. Uh, we have a main uh, upper roof uh, flash uh, uh, light, which is an off on and uh, which on which is uh, which is on off and on action mode and uh, I have to say that uh, the sky the ceiling of the car is uh, perfect after 27 years it hasn't fallen not a, not a single millimeter even though in cars like Mercedes, uh, uh, Volkswagens, uh, even Audis you can see that the ceilings are dropping after 27 years the ceiling is intact and I have to recommend that um, on the front sides of the ceiling we have again a left side light for the driver, a right side light for the co-driver uh, for helping to adjust with um, night vision and we have the actual sun wheels, sun, sun, uh, sun seals to the left and to the right that they also, as I will show you, they have for the co-driver uh, an actual uh, mirror. You can see uh, the woman, probably a female, can see herself on the mirror. And of course we have the hangers for anything uh, requirable. Okay, so this is an actual, uh, we have plastic, a very good plastic uh, quality to the doors, uh, panels and to the door dressing overall and uh, at the price in 1995 of approximately 19,200 euros which could evolve in the modern time at uh, 26, 25,000 euros according to the inflationary uh, projection uh, the car was perfect in its value offering and its value performance and still it can reach a value of uh, approximately 1500 2000 euros if you're lucky in uh, the Greek market at least, if it's in a good state. Uh, so this is a little briefing for the car's uh, interior. Here we're going to shut the door and we are shutting the lock and we're grabbing uh, the door panel from here, opening and we're closing like this the same for the co-driver seat we're locking the lock and we're closing the door with the open the door panel So this has been a briefing, has been uh, a description of the Nissan Primera P10, particularly the 1995 facelift model uh, interior. Uh, it's very spacious, uh, at least for the, for the front drivers and uh, co-driver and for the rear passengers. Thank you very much.